Here we go. We are running in Shabarn Park. I'm here with my friend Paul, and it is a hot, hot day. What you thinking about, Paul? <laughs> Just thinking about this trail. He's a very quiet one. He didn't want me to film today. And he's gonna be pissed at me, I know it. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to the right. Hi. Hi. I don't know why he's running so fast. Usually, he goes very slow. I don't know if I'm out of shape or he's been training or he's camera shy. I think we know which one it is. You know, I forgot that some of my subscribers actually know you. I, I was doing this European backpacking trip, which I'm still into you, and you were one of the stars. Do you have anything to say about that trip? Well, best trip of my life. First youthful journey, it was great. And I'm glad there's people out there who know me. Nice to meet all you. Five years ago, 2017, we did the marathon together and I whooped his ass. Today he's whooping mine. That's how it goes. The person who's most consistent definitely will do better. Running for fitness, and I have my bad example of it this year, is about consistency. At the peak of my running ability, also in the best shape of my life, I was running every other day rain or shine, didn't matter if it was freezing, didn't matter if the trail was closed, I ran. And it was that consistency that allowed me to maintain the shape I was after. But I, but over the past couple years, like I've said, I haven't been consistent. And so now you see my friend Paul kicking my ass.
Now you might be saying, who in their right mind would run in the sun, even though it's February, it's really hot, up a hill, and sweat this much? And you guys have a point. It's hard, but sometimes it's the hard things in life that do bring us great joy and satisfaction. And you know, although I'm uncomfortable for about an hour or so, when I'm finished and I hop in the shower, drink a cold glass of water, or even better, a beer, there's no better feeling. And then you've heard of runner's high. Well, that lasts a while. You feel very peaceful, very chill the rest of the day. Your mind's not racing. You've worked out all your kinks. It's one of the best things to do for your mental health. Because not only are you getting into nature, which there have been scientific studies beyond common folk knowledge that being in nature is good for your mental health. But exercise, exercise and nature, both proven remedies for good physical health and mental health. So it's hard, but you feel great. You feel really good. And that good feeling extends into the rest of your day and sometimes into the rest of your week. And if you do it enough, into the rest of your life. So there's more than one reason to come running up here. And that is why you should. Look at the view behind me. Behind me, you see parts of LA, the county of LA, and you see the mountains. And people, it's beautiful. Amigo! How are you? Bien, you? Oh, muy, muy tired. Multiple trails. Are we going up yeah. the steep one? We go up any one. This is the steep one. Okay. As you guys can see. You want to spread off ahead of me? Up, up, and away.
last shot. <laughs> but dunk, dunk. <laughs> He's very proud of his ass. He's always looking at it in the mirror, shaking it. All right, this is, uh, we're signing off. This was the end of our Sunday fun day. We're gonna go drink some beers. Any last words for the, for YouTube? It's been fun. Are we gonna see you again? Maybe, probably not. He's never gonna see me again on these trails and he's gonna make sure there's no camera in my hand, <laughs> believe you me. Remember what I said in, in the, that European backpacking series? He's like a deer. I had to ambush him with this. <laughs> <laughs>